Kasiwa. I'm a vascular specialist at Doctors Community Hospital and Doctors Community Surgical Associates. Uh, so I think most people have heard of the circulatory system in uh, grade school probably, but it's basically a collection of vessels uh, that carry blood and lymph all over the body uh, to deliver oxygen and nutrients. Vascular disease is basically any condition that affects the blood vessels. This includes both the arteries, uh, the veins, and the lymphatic vessels. I like to think of a vascular surgeon as a plumber for the body. Uh, we work all over the body in many different areas of the body, including the arms, the legs, the abdomen, the neck, um, and we basically fix leaks or blockages um, all over the body. Types of vascular diseases, um, usually we uh, deal with um, atherosclerosis. Uh, this can affect uh, blood vessels uh, in different areas of the body. A uh, majority of my patients come to me with problems of leg pain, non-healing wounds, uh, failing kidneys, uh, but you can also have blockages in your neck that may lead to a stroke uh, or enlargement of a blood vessel called an aneurysm um, that can act in different fashions. Uh, sometimes they can lead to rupture or sometimes they can lead to little clots that form in the, aneur uh, that form in the aneurysm uh, and go to other parts of the body. I think it's very important you always take a very detailed history. You can learn a lot um, about uh, the disease based on the patient's symptoms, uh, the length of time that it's been occurring, and any associated symptoms that they have. It's very important to do a thorough vascular exam. Um, this includes not only the circulatory system where we're looking for pulses uh, in the arms, the legs, um, but we also listen uh, for bruies, which is basically turbulent blood flow that you uh, can hear and it makes kind of a, a different uh, sound uh, as compared to normal blood flow. Um, we also look at the skin uh, to make sure there's no changes um, that can uh, indicate uh, more severe problems. Uh, so after taking a thorough history and physical exam, I would say uh, the two uh, main a diagnostic test that we do uh, are the ultrasound, okay, where we uh, use sound waves to evaluate the blood flow, and then also CT scan or MR uh, so that we can uh, image the actual blood vessels um, after administering contrast. Uh, so uh, any patient with vascular disease um, has additional risk factors, including diabetes, high blood pressure. Uh, a lot of times they also have heart disease. So a lot of times medications that they already take for those uh, comorbidities um, are helpful to treat their vascular disease. Um, specifically, we recommend that patients are on a statin drug uh, to help lower their cholesterol. Uh, studies have also shown that the statin medications help to stabilize some of the atherosclerosis that we see in the blood vessels. Uh, and also prevent worsening or progression of the disease. Most of my patients are also on an antiplatelet agent, such as aspirin or clopidogrel. Uh, these medications uh, basically work to make the blood less sticky, uh, and so that the blood doesn't stick together as much when it's kind of trying to meander its way through blockages. The benefits of vascular disease treatment, so vascular disease is basically a spectrum and you have some patients that may come in where their uh, blockages are affecting the quality of their life, uh, i.e. they're unable to walk as far as they want. Um, in those patients, we're looking to actually improve the quality of their life um, by allowing them to go to the grocery store, go to the mailbox, uh, you know, perform their uh, job. Uh, but then we also have some patients that their vascular disease has progressed to such a point uh, that they're at risk of losing a limb uh, due to a wound or even if they have gangrene of the toes. Uh, those patients require vascular disease to prevent a major limb loss. Um, so uh, the treatment will be tailored uh, based on the severity of the disease. Probably the number one uh, preventable risk factor is tobacco use. 
Um, you know, do we see patients that uh, have never smoked or used tobacco? Yes, that have vascular disease, but a, a large um, a proportion of the population will have used tobacco products at some point in time. Uh, this has been shown to accelerate atherosclerosis in the blood vessels. Unfortunately, as we age, everybody is going to build up some degree of blockages in their blood vessels. This is usually a disease of older generations. It's less common uh, in patients uh, in their uh, earlier decades in their lives. There's also a genetic component. Uh, so we do see some patients that may be affected at a younger age, and a lot of times these patients uh, do have uh, multiple family members uh, with uh, vascular disease. There's a lot of people out there that do vascular disease treatment. Um, I think it's very important uh, to go to somewhere that offers comprehensive treatment. Uh, I think one of the benefits of going to somebody that's a vascular surgeon is that I've been trained in all of the different modalities. Um, we do things like uh, diet and exercise, um, which includes a supervised exercise program. And more recently, insurance has started to pay uh, for some uh, of these supervised exercise programs, just like a physical therapy program. I'm also trained to do uh, endovascular intervention. Uh, which is minimally invasive. It's done usually in a radiology suite, does not involve surgical incisions, and we're able to fix a lot of problems that way. Uh, and then some of the more complex patients uh, do require open surgery, uh, but I'm able to tailor the patient's treatment uh, based on their specific findings, um, based on the quality of their life, the other comorbidities and the risks involved. The vascular program here is very comprehensive. Uh, we offer uh, different options for treatment of both arterial and venous disease. We have a very well-established lymphedema center that offers comprehensive treatment. These patients um, have a very difficult time controlling edema where they've developed uh, changes to their skin, chronic wounds, and it can be a very difficult thing for them to manage. We also have uh, a wound care center here that provides aggressive wound care, including hyperbaric oxygen. I think all of these are key assets. Our vascular lab is accredited by iCable, which is the national standard for vascular labs. 